friends. Hope everyone's doing great. Gonna um, add an electroculture antenna to this comfrey plant today. Have this Igina spiral made out of six gauge wire. It's been there a um, couple months, I wanna say end of May. And I um, just wanna add something today. So I'll add an antenna, an electroculture antenna, something to get some atmospheric energy, the prana, the chi, the energy that surrounds us. Yeah, for the um, electroculture atmospheric antenna or small electroculture antenna, I'll use some 12 gauge stranded wire, one of these double spirals, double Egina spirals, a wire nut, and then we'll add it to the small stick. Yeah, I'm using 12 gauge stranded and um, all I did is wind it around the stick. I don't really um, um, pay a lot of attention to which way I wind it clockwise, counterclockwise. I know the um, clockwise would be the um, galactic and sun energy. The counterclockwise or anticlockwise would be the um, terrestrial or earth energy. Um, in that case, I could always use various um, spirals um, to get that type of connection from the earth to the sun, sun to earth, um, to increase the energy itself. But in this case, I know for the comfrey plant, it will enjoy um, any type of electroculture device that I'm using. I know since it is already using this Egina spiral, um, it's it's um, thrived and, and kept healthy this whole time. No bugs have attacked it. I have not had to spray neem oil on any of my plants. I know the beans get attacked more than anything else, but that, that's quite all right. The tomatoes and anything that's um, essential to my garden, things that I want to harvest and use later, um, either for food or other. Um, I know um, any electroculture device has been successful in my garden to help with pests. To complete everything, I added some electrical tape to keep everything solid. And then um, this is the end that will go in the soil. We'll go ahead and add it to the plant. Yeah, what I do is normally um, just create a hole with my finger, stick the wire in there, and then um, cover it. And then, okay, I have my wire in the hole that I created. And then that's gonna be buried. I have the antenna at it. Sorry, there's a big glare. Have the antenna at it. And then we'll see how nice this grows, how much bigger it gets after it has the atmospheric antenna now yeah thank you for joining me today steve -O, magneto electrico yeah if um you need any assistance on making one of these please let me know in the comments i will leave a link on the video that i made on how to make one yourself have a great day everyone
Yeah, this was one of the um, original atmospheric antennas that I made. Has the Agena spirals and then a curved piece of copper. And then the Agena spiral that I'm using on the Lemon Boy. It has 20 tomatoes. Actually, 18. I can't tell if the other two are tomatoes yet. We will see. Here's the onk that I created for this atmospheric antenna on the Lemon Boy cutting. We'll see how many tomatoes it gets by the end of summer, or should I say before Halloween. I'm using an Agena spiral added to this antenna. This was added a little over two weeks now. We'll see how many tomatoes we get on this. And then also this, the tree stump tomato. These are all using 12 gauge stranded wire. Actually, correction, this is 10 gauge solid wire. And then another antenna, electroculture atmospheric antenna that I have with 10 gauge wire going into the soil. And then the onk that I created. If you'd like a video on that or um, like to know how to make one yourself, I'll leave a link in the um, information down below. Have a great day everyone.